Hey friends, it's Greg here. Would you like to learn how to make a video with scrolling lyrics like this one? I'll show you how to do it using Kino and iMovie. It's not too hard. Give it a try. So I'm starting here in Keynote and I've got all of the text for the lyrics for my song. And the first thing that I need to do is make the spacing between the lines larger. And then I have to make the font size larger. And uh, now I've got a really long box of text that eventually will be scrolling. I'm going to slide it over here to the right and bring in an image for my song as well. You can use AI to generate this. Um, but we're going to get this set up in the approximate way that we want our scrolling lyric video to look. Now we got to zoom out here because this text box is huge and it's much larger than the size of the slide. And I'm going to pull the text box down and put it below the slide. And then we're going to duplicate this slide. And now we're going to make a transition. We're going to use the magic move transition. And we're going to make that magic move as long as possible, which is 60 seconds. And we want to turn off the acceleration. We don't want to ease in or ease out. And now we're going to take this second slide and move the text box to be above the slide. We're not going to change the X position of the text box, only the Y position. And the idea here is that the magic move transition takes two adjacent slides and moves components of those slides around it, like slides the components around to kind of morph from one slide into the other. So since the only difference between these two slides here is that in one the text box is in the bottom and then the other one the text box is at the top, uh, during that 60 second transition, it's going to scroll the text past the field of view as you can see here in this preview. Right. So that's it. We're using a transition between two slides, a magic move transition. It's a really great feature of Keynote. And that is going to be how we get the text to scroll. Now, if you want to make a title slide uh, at the beginning or end credits or something like that, you can do that as well. I'm just going to add the title of the song here. We'll use a dissolve transition. We don't want it to be 60 seconds. And now we are ready to record our slideshow. So we're going to record the slideshow here. I'm not going to say anything. I'm not playing the music or anything. I'm just going to click through the slides and we'll record it. Now this is going to be exported as a movie in our next step. And then we're going to use iMovie to pair it up with the music. A little fast forward there for you. But you do have to wait the whole 60 seconds for the uh, scroll to happen. Now we're going to export as a movie, hit save, name it whatever you want. And now we're going to close Keynote and jump into iMovie. So drag in the movie that you just exported, and this has no music with it, but our next step, there's the big step, we're going to pull in the MP3 of our song. And you can see that the length of the movie is a little more than a minute, the song is going to be longer than that. And now we're just going to play around with changing the speed of that video clip to get it to match the length of the song. And this is where a lot of the bulk of the work is, is fine tuning the pacing of how that clip is played to get it to match the audio, right? So you can see I, I don't, the start's not working out here because I have a title slide, so I've got to make some adjustments. I've got to split off this title and change the pacing on that. And I'm going to have to move my, my whole audio start over to this other clip here. Now what you're going to see me do, I've already done it once, but what you'll see me do here is um, when I've selected the video clip in the editor, if I press Command B, that splits the clip that I've selected into two clips right wherever the, uh, the playhead line there is. So I'm going to fine tune how these lyrics match up. So here at the start it's pretty good. Right, I'm seeing the lyrics that I want to see, but if I go over here, 
starting to get a little out of sync. So I'll split that clip, and now I'm going to change the speed of this this clip to try and get my pacing to match up a little bit better. Ultimately, it's going to be how precise do you want things to be? You know, the larger you make the text, the better it'll look overall because you'll have fewer lyrics on the screen, but it'll be harder to uh, fine tune the pacing of the text to the music. If you want, you could throw on a transition or do any other video editing stuff you want. This is going to fade to black. And when you're done, you're going to export to file. Name it what you want. Save it where you want. And this is now your music video with scrolling text once that export is finished. And now here's the finished product. Count them by the bunch. I need a dozen ears of corn. Twelve. And I need one pair of shoes. That's two. A score of nuggets sure sounds good. That's twenty. And a gross of french fries too. A gross? That's 144 french fries. But I could use some water. Grab a glass and fill it up. Take eight septillion molecules and pour them in a cup. What? How on earth do you expect me to count eight septillion? Their number's tough to crunch But chemists make things easier And count them by the bunch Old Avogadro's number It's a value oh so grand But that makes an amount We can hold in our hands They're so small We'll need way more than just a few I've heard We'll need 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd Wow, that's so many molecules Well, you know, they're really, really small I need to count some water I need to count some salt The particles are just too small It's not the chemist's fault Instead, let's count by weighing A single mole will do Grab a scale and calculator Periodic table too See, these molecules are mighty small Their number's tough to crunch But chemists make things easier And count them by value oh so grand but that makes an amount we can hold in our hands those eight septillion molecules are easier to count when you can count by weighing and know the weight of that amount eight septillion molecules okay if one mole of water is 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd molecules and one mole of water has a mass of 18 grams Eight septillion molecules should therefore have a mass of 239 grams. Given the density of water is one gram per milliliter, you're asking me to pour you a glass of 239 milliliters of water or roughly eight fluid ounces. I can count to eight septillion molecules. That's amazing. They're so small, we'll need way more than just a few I've heard We'll need 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd